Hello everyone, today we'll be taking a look at an iceberg about the one and only Mana Sama. This iceberg was made by me, yes I'm done stealing other people's work. Uh, shout out to Silver for suggesting this topic. Some of these entries I've already talked about in my Milesmizer video, uh, check it out if you haven't seen it. So yeah, at some points, especially in the beginning, I'll just be repeating exactly what I said in that video. It will also be shorter than my previous videos. Since you're watching this video, I assume Mana needs no introduction to you. He's a highly influential visual game musician and fashion designer, founder and lead guitarist of the bands Miles Miser and Moi Di Moi. Previous bands. The first known band that Mana was in was Vestirch, active from 1986 to 1988. Back then he was using the stage name Serena. He later joined the punk rock band Girly, active from 1988 until 1990. In both of those bands he was a guitarist. Next he joined Matt and Raw as a bassist. He meant Cozy left Matt and Raw in April 1992 and founded Miles Meisel. Mana had also appeared as a guest guitarist for a live show of Art Marjo Duchesne in 1997, but he was not a member of it. Muame Moiti Started by Mana in 1999, it is a Japanese brand focusing on gothic lolita clothing. It is credited with popularizing the gothic lolita fashion movement. It features two lines of design named Elegant Gothic Lolita and Elegant Gothic Aristocrat. Cooking videos the Muame Moiti official YouTube channel sometimes uploads videos of Chef Mana's elegant gothic cooking. And uh, yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. Some of the videos are stopped with Mana's commentary in English. MidiNet MidiNet is an independent record label founded by Mana in 1994. The majority of Malis Miser and Wadi Ma music was released via MidiNet. The Bart Schwarzstein was also signed to it. Mana Sama Fans often refer to Mana using the Japanese honorific Sama as Mana Sama. Apparently, this habit dates back as far as 1992, the year Miles Miser was founded. Speaking Mana is notable for never speaking in public. He speaks normally in printed interviews, but in filmed interviews he whispers into the ear of a band member or confidant who then relates his words back to the interviewer. He has also been known to simply look at the camera as subtitles appear as well as using yes or no cards and expressing himself in mind. Despite this, there were two TV interviews in which Mana has spoken. Guitar <laughs> <laughs> This is how you spell Mana's stage name in kanji. It reads evil name or demon's name. Mana doesn't use the kanji spelling anymore, he writes it in Romaji or Katakana instead. Snoopy Mana is very fond of Snoopy. In one of the interviews I found he's quoted saying I slept with a blue Snoopy blanket when I was a child, so I think I just naturally became very fond of it. I have so many Snoopy themed items I can barely count them all, as I always receive them as presents from all of you. I think what draws me to the character the most is the carefree atmosphere, which I find very soothing. I often use a Snoopy tea set when I'm having tea. Birthday All we know officially is that Mana was born on March 19 in Hiroshima, at exactly 3.19am. It was revealed that Tetsu, born on December 12, 1972, was the youngest member of Molly's Miser during his era, meaning Mana had to be born in 1972 or just a few years before it. 
Lovecozy and Kami were also born in 1972. Horror fan Mana is a fan of horror media. Even as a young child he already enjoyed horror comics. He would watch Vampire and other horror movies late at night. He enjoys old foreign horror films, especially Italian ones. Apparently Japanese horror films are too scary for him. He cited the 1977 film Suspiria as his most favorite movie. In Miles Miser, Mana wore blue clothes because he has a quiet personality, and Cozy wore red because he has a loud personality. There's also this thing about blue being a traditionally masculine color, which might symbolize something, maybe a comment about the unimportance of gender, given how Mana has said that clothes shouldn't be gender oriented. I don't know if there's anything to this theory, but I think it's worth mentioning. Mana is a certified gamer and a console collector. He buys game consoles as soon as they come out, and his favorite portable gaming console is the PC Engine GT. His favorite game series is Castlevania. And fun fact, the title of Gekana Yasukiyoku is the same as the Japanese title for Castlevania Symphony of the Night, which released a few months prior to this song. Parents. Mana's parents were both music teachers and they introduced him to classical music. It was said that they even played music for him to listen when he was in his mother's womb. And apparently Mana's father was getting nervous at him when he started listening to heavy metal. Metalhead. What might be surprising to some people who know Mana only from Malice Miser is that he is a metalhead. He listens to traditional heavy metal, thrash metal, death metal, black metal and hair metal. His favorite bands include Slayer, Dark Funeral, Motley Crue, Wasp and Iron Maiden. The first concert he watched was Motley Crue and the first record he bought was Iron Maiden's Peace of Mind. Michan Mana has a nephew called Michan and there are photos of them vibing together. Mana loves Michan and he enjoyed playing with him whenever he visited his family. As of today, Michan is either in his late teens or early 20s. Not just a guitarist. Besides guitar, Mana can also play the trumpet, bass, a synthesizer, drums, an accordion and a violin. Anime. Mana's favorite anime is the 1968 series Yokai Ninken Ben. He also enjoys Sailor Moon and Angelique. He composed ending themes for Vampire Knight and Vampire Knight Guilty. Sea Monkeys Mana is raised in Sea Monkeys. He named his first Sea Monkey Damien. He held a contest for one abroad fan and one domestic fan to receive Sea Monkeys personally from him. Reportedly he even sent a fan a package of Sea Monkeys because her own had died. Castlevania Ringtone Mana is a fan of the Castlevania series and he wrote a ringtone called La Nuit Blanche to promote Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. The ringtone was never released outside of Japan and is currently considered lost media. It's unlikely that we'll ever get to hear it unless it's floating somewhere in the absolute depths of the internet or someone finds an over 20 years old Japanese phone that will have that ringtone on it. When asked about if he has a saved copy of the ringtone, Mana responded Since I made it on a super old flip phone, I don't have the audio data. If anyone has it and can record it, I want to hear it. Claustrophobia In a 2005 interview, Mana recalls that he was locked into a small storage room as a punishment for some misdeed and ever since then he has been claustrophobic. Siblings Mana is their parents oldest child. He has a younger brother and a sister. Sports As a child, Mana loved to play football and baseball. In high school he played in a handball team because he wanted to play a less popular sport. He is a longtime fan of the Hiroshima Card baseball team. Music studies 
After finishing high school, Mana enrolled in a music school in Osaka. He wasn't satisfied with the rigid outlook that the school had on music, so he decided to drop out of it. To this day, Mana hasn't learned music theory and his composing style is healing oriented. ESP Guitars Mana designs his guitars and gets them custom made by ESP. He also designed a guitar strap and guitar picks. And you too can buy Mana's guitars. The cheapest one that ESP sells costs about 1200 American dollars, and the most expensive one is 21,000 dollars. Autobiography It seems that at some point Mana stated interest in writing an autobiography. In an Instagram Q&A in June 2020 he said he's no longer planning to release his autobiography since he did a lengthy personal interview with the Rock and Read magazine last year. Tentative Tentative is a Mwadi Ma album which Mana has been working on for well over 10 years at this point. The recording of it was stopped due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Back then, Mana said that he hopes to release the album in winter 2021, but he didn't. Some of the new Mwadi Ma songs can be heard at the recent live shows. The Guitar Incident On the 2021 live stream, Gakt recalled how on one of the Malice Miser live shows, one string on Mana's guitar was out of tune. When Mana strummed that string and heard the sound it made, he went from his usual poker face to this face. <laughs> すっごい無表情でパーって弾いてるのに音外してすっかり。その顔がめちゃくちゃ面白かったね。やばい。それやばい。そんな。2022 <笑><笑> Mama Moiti drama. In 2022, the company found itself in a drama due to not crediting one of their designers. Instead, they credited the design to Mama. After this came to light, they corrected it. An issue of them reusing old designs and recreating them in a lower quality was also brought up. Instead of addressing their fans' complaints, the company decided to deactivate comments on their Instagram. After all this, some people were disappointed in Mana for not handling the situation correctly, and some claim he is not to blame because he probably has no control over these decisions. 158 free prints. So there's this lady on TikTok who got sent 158 photos of Mana and it's pretty damn funny. Some lady, no, 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 oh my gosh, no way. No way you sent me 158 free prints of the same lady. No way you sent me 158 free prints of the same flip flopping lady. I don't even know who this is. I blame, really folks? No, 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 no. Why would you, this is such a waste of your money. I don't even know who this is. Why would you send me 158 free prints of the same lady? Oh my word. Oh my word. What is wrong with you? What is seriously wrong with you? 158 prints and that's not even it. That's not even it because there's a whole second pile. Same flip flopping lady. Oh my word. You're obsessed. You're obsessed. You're obsessed and you're weird. You're weird and you're obsessed. I don't like this. Who is this? Who even is this? I don't even know who this is. And there she is as a carrot. There she is as a carrot. You are so weird. You are so weird. You are so, there she is as a strawberry. Okay. You guys can all say to, you know what head? Thanks. Oh, thanks. You know what head? Oh, thanks. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, thanks. Because we're done. Because we are so done. Meeting Gekt. When Mana and Gekt first met, they ate ramen together and didn't speak at all. They just observed each other. Each of them thought that the other was weird. Gekt later spent the night at Mana's place and they talk about what a human is.
name leaked by the Brazilian government. Whenever a foreigner obtains a work visa in Brazil, their information is published for everybody to see in the Diario Official legal newspaper. I don't know what the point of it is, but whatever. When Madima came to Brazil in 2012, names of the band members have been made publicly available. This confirmed that Mana's real name is Mana Busato, which was actually rumored for many years. Credits to the Skate Forums user Vax Inferno for finding this. Marriage. There's a rumor saying that Mana is married to Yuki Ito, the CEO of Midinet. It has never been confirmed, it's just a speculation. What's certain is that Yuki and Mana have worked together for many years and she reportedly sometimes appears on Muddy Ma concerts. Mana supposedly said in an interview that Yuki is special to him. So I think it's safe to say that Yuki and Mana are at least good friends. The Yakuza incident. There's a video in which Gak talks about when he first moved to Tokyo. This specific story takes place in Ikebukoro, in a flat of another Malice Miser member. Gakt was standing near a window and one of the members called out to him warning him that he's gonna get shot. Almost immediately after, Gakt heard gunshots outside and ran away from the window. As it turns out, there was a Yakuza HQ on the same floor level of a neighboring building and sometimes bullets will make their way over to the member's flat. Gakt did not name which member it was, but since it's confirmed that Mana lived in Ikebukoro somewhere around this time, it can be assumed that it was Mana's flat. Hiroshima accent. It's hard to really confirm this since we have little to no recordings of Mana's voice, but he apparently speaks with a Hiroshima accent. He pronounces the E in certain words when others don't. The Van Crash. Mana used to drive the Malice Miser van. There's a picture of their van after a crash, so there's a high possibility that Mana was the one who crashed the van. I also found an interview in which Mana says he doesn't own a car. And that will be it for the Mana Iceberg. As usual, I hope you had fun watching this video just like I had fun researching the entries. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. I just hit a hundred subs and it's honestly amazing. I can't thank you enough. If I made any mistakes, make sure to leave a comment correcting me. Thank you for watching and goodbye.